Hi, this is the Alex topic conditions for parallelograms. So I've included the notes from Alex of the different conditions for parallelograms, what makes a parallelogram a parallelogram, and those are listed to the right. Um, condition one is that both pairs of opposite sides are congruent. Condition two, both pairs of opposite angles are congruent. Condition three, the diagonals bisect each other. Bisect means cut in half. And condition four, one pair of opposite sides is both parallel and congruent. And then we're given these four figures and asked to determine if it's a parallelogram or maybe not, maybe not necessarily. So what we wanna look for is, are any of these four conditions met by the markings in our figure? So taking a look at the very first figure, I can see that we have marked angle G and J to be equal and marked angle I and H to also be equal. So it actually meets condition two perfectly. So this one would be a parallelogram. For this figure right, he right here, um, we have one diagonal marked. We have some angles marked, but it doesn't necessarily show us what we need to see out of these four conditions to show that it's a parallelogram. So it could be, but there's not enough marked. We see that um, L and M are marked the same. We can see that when those are bisected, we have this smaller angle here matching this angle, but that doesn't meet any of our four conditions. So we're gonna have to mark not necessarily a parallelogram. This third figure right here, I see the only thing marked, we have two sides showing parallel. That's what the little arrows indicate. And then the little tick marks being the same also mean that those two side lengths are congruent. So that fits condition four. And then our last figure, um, we have two sides showing parallel, and then we have two opposite angles um, showing congruent, but that doesn't give us enough information to show that one of these four conditions is met. So again, I'm going to say not necessarily a parallelogram.